We're going to be talking about Visual Studio Code for Closure with Calva. I'm making these videos for 10 year olds. I have some children around me, so we'll be trying to talk slowly and carefully and precisely. Where we're going, this is our final page. Too hard, too complex. Let's cut it down. Here's a full screen view of our world. This is where programmers live. They live in a world of complexity, but we're not going to go there right now. We're going to stay very simple. In fact, we're going to look at our slideshow. Here's what we're going to be talking about. OneNote. Actually, let's just go. OneNote's important. I'm using OneNote for these videos, and I use it every day of my life. If you look at my OneNote, you see today's Saturday for week 25. I make lots of notes. This particular video is going to talk about OneNote off and on through the video. We're going to talk a little about the command window that gave us a Linegan project for August, for yesterday, for August 28th. I used Nightcode for closure, which is where I've been working mostly. I love it because of the Insta REPL that it shows me evaluating code before I've finished typing, before I pressed enter. But that stopped working, so I had to go to Visual Studio Code. So this is my first time or experience with Calva. Now this is Emacs Cider. That's the wrong thing. It's Calva for closure. So here's our real menu over here, and we're looking. So we're closing this Calva for closure. One note. Okay, this is our detailed discussions. Okay, and we're going to be expanding that. We'll talk about the command window. We'll talk about Windows Explorer in just a second. You get Nightcode from GitHub, and we'll tell you how to do that. We're mostly going to be talking about Visual Studio Code and Calva. Okay, let's close down these windows. And what we do is go blank. Close your eyes. Put this on pause. Take the mouse and go over the pause button at the bottom of the video. Click it to pause the video and think about your life. Did you do it? Did you pause it? Can you do it by, by just hitting the space bar? Perhaps. Space bar and pausing is a great thing to do. We're back. Okay, so we're getting rid of our OneNote slides. Let's talk a little bit about the command window. The command window is the primitive window. I'm going, I'm taking my mouse now and going down to the left hand corner where the window square thing is and I'm typing CMD. And that's how you get a command prompt. Once you have a command prompt, you will be able to make a number of commands. I uh, moved out to my D drive and I made a directory for August 20, actually for August 29th, because then we used Linegan to make a directory for August 28th, which was a full project directory. Let's, um, can I do something with that? Yes, we're going to go ahead and show you. I like coloring my slides. I'm making these slides for later because we're only doing the one thing. So I did a draw command in OneNote. Now we're back to the type command. Linegan gave us this huge directory, which gave us a project CLD and a source. All right, I'm going fast through this. We've just created a project for closure. Um, let's get out of command window now and back to blank. Bill Gates saw C colon backslash as the beginning of Windows. And lots of other things are based on that. You can do primitive things in the command prompt. You don't have to. We're going to be mostly using applications. Okay, so let's get rid of our command window right now. Here's the Windows Explorer, which you certainly know about. On drive D, my closure drive, I created August 28th. Lucky there. And it's got the full project by a simple command. I created a file structure. This is what professional programmers do. They have file structures that they can share on GitHub. We'll talk about that in just a minute. All right, what other slides do we have? Nothing. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, 
File Explorer, of course, is something I want you to do. I want you to know where your files are. I want you to understand your Windows File Explorer. It's confusing to look at people who program in Linux and only talk Linux, or even on Macs and only talk Macs. We're in Windows, and I'll be trying to keep you keep the File Explorer dimensions clear. Okay, but we got rid of the File Explorer. We're looking at GitHub now. Okay, we're not going to look at GitHub. It's We're going to look at Night Code. I, this has been my IDE. What's What have I got under here? Well, Closure Bridge. Closure Bridge is an amazing organization. Go to closurebridge.organization, look around, take their curriculum, and download Java and Linegan and Night Code. Download Night Code so that you can get you can see what's going on here. Okay, and we'll have to view this at 50%. Is what Night Code looks like. Here is an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment for Closure. On this side is the File Explorer. Here's my August directory, and there's all my files, including the main one, core.clj. If you've done any of this work you know that that's the main thing you'll be editing. Well, that plus others, but this is a the driving force. Here's the Insta REPL. Oh, amazing. It evaluates Bob, who says him's terrific. <laughs> I agree. Today, I started with some notes, and so you can immediately start typing and thinking. Much of what we're doing in Clojure is asking you to think. Lisp forever has been a place where I can think or try to think symbolically. We're not going to do math as much as we're going to be doing bakery work or um, text adventure work or some other kinds of things. Math is fun, but it's only so much fun. Um, the directory I had showed you about, let's get out of 50%. Here's our full directory. Um, here's the night code. I don't do a lot. This is the famous foo function at the beginning, print hello world. And here's some stuff I did uh, that defined my first function. Bob is a terrific person, a string. Notes for today was the important other kind of thing. Okay, night code is fun. It's your first IDE. Let's go to blank. Can we go to blank? Yes. Okay, um, night code, you need a place. A lot of work for closure was done from the command window, from a terminal window. It's as if you had an old teletype terminal. Okay, right? It's so much nicer to work in an integrated development environment. Visual Studio is an integrated development environment. Visual Studio Code is a free part of that, and that's what we're going to be doing. So let's move on. Pause, though. Visual Studio. Okay, holy cow. What are we going to do here? Close up night code, Visual Studio code. Well, we were, we did our line again project, and once it was set by typing code dot, boom, guess what? We got a welcome screen. Okay, we're going to go to 50%. Now, maybe just for a second, there's the thrill of Visual Studio code getting involved, editing evolved and it does it continues to evolve a lot you can work in javascript or python you can work in java and you can and here's our august 28th that i was working on um, you can set key bindings for vim what if we did 75 percent so yes vim allows heap your hands on the keyboard don't mess with the mouse there's a number of key bindings like that from old emacs and we'll be installing those, but I don't have them right now. Um, here's a full screen view of Visual Studio Code, and we'll do it. Well, I don't want to show it much. Let's do it a little bit again. There's our full screen view. It looks kind of like the Night Code one, doesn't it? Here's Night Code at full screen. There's the IDE. It's similar. This is not really a terminal window, though it, it, I guess it is a terminal window, but with some built-in commands at the top. Here's our full screen in Visual Studio Code. It's bigger. There's more to it. And actually, I showed you, I've got my 
taskbar expanded so it's easier to get around, especially in making a video. You can't do closure without the Calva extension. You're going to go ahead and ask for extensions, look for Calva, C-A-L-V-A, and install that. It installs instantly, so there's no real problem with it. And it gives you Kondo, which is the linter, a linter for closure. Huh? Okay, fun stuff. That's an introduction to Visual Studio Code, where we're going. Okay. Visual Studio Code is arguably the biggest integrated development environment. And if you're 10 years old, you should start getting familiar with it. It's intimidating to begin with, but just begin. Start with, you know, looking at a file. Start with using it as an editor. Um, I used Emacs, which is another huge integrated in, and perhaps better development environment. There's arguments about that. I use that for an outline of my thinking just to get started with Emacs. Okay, we're not talking Emacs. We're talking Visual Studio Code. It's important. Okay, let's look at some details now. We were looking at Calva, I said. So let's get out of 50%. Calva is the extension you have to add. What are we going to talk about there? Well, the first thing Calva did for me was add a Leningen, Lining, Liningen project. <laughs> okay, Leningen is what we set up way back here with our command directory that said Leningen. Did we do that? Yes, we did a Leningen project. So we're now, Calva is using Leningen, and it may have a Leningen like stuff built in. I don't know. Kevin, down here at the bottom, Kelvin, our walkthrough with Kelvin May says you don't have to. We've just started today. I started with this yesterday, so I'm not as expert. In the terminal window, one of those big windows down at the bottom, let's go to 50 again. Look at what this is doing for us. It's updating Linegan. It's adding this CLJ condo. It's giving us a CIDR REPL. CIDR is from Emacs, and an N REPL, I think, is a, a Windows REPL. It's a web REPL you can access from a web browser. You also have the CIDR middleware, which is going to give you the additional powers that we'll show you um, for editing and getting the Insta REPL material. And you get a Calva REPL. Okay, so there we are at 100%. There's our read, eval, print, loop. Most important thing. That's where and how you can think about your code. Now, the, Kevin, when he was doing his walkthrough video, I liked it a lot, but he didn't tell me details. Look at this. You have to hit not enter when you're editing code. You have to hit alt enter to execute code in the REPL. That's important. You're going to have to know that. Kelvin didn't show me or tell me that you use Control shift p to get this whole big command window at the top. So that's something you're going to use hundreds and hundreds of times a day. Well, until you know all of the control codes. Control-Enter gives you this in this temporary evaluation, and we'll be showing you that. That's our insta-repl kind of thing. This particular thing, Bob is a terrific person, that's located as a function. We defined a function. Here we evaluated the function and said again, he's a terrific person. Um, Kelvin's video is nice and will give you more detail of closure for visual code. Um, it was December 19th. Things have already changed some, but okay, we're now in today's October. I'm sorry, it's August 29th of 2020, so we're not quite a year later. Um, this is Kelvin. He's got 3,000 subscribers, I guess, 3,000 subscribers. And um, a lot of people liked his video. Go ahead and give him, like, thumbs ups. Um, that's good. If you look on YouTube, this is what that particular splash screen looks like. Okay, a lot of stuff there. Almost too much. Let's go blank. What we've been talking about is Calva now, an extension for this video studio code, but I'm not going to talk much more here. You're paused. You're not listening. You've thought about how you'll use this stuff, where you're going to go next, etc. Okay, so a quick summary our final page and then we'll actually do some things so let's summarize what we've talked about and maybe save the best for last we said 
that we, we were making videos using OneNote. This should all be on the video screen. We use the command window to create a directory and to give us a Linegan project in that August 28th directory. We use Night Code as our first integrated development environment, IDE. We got Night, Hope, Night Code from GitHub. You will need GitHub installed. You'll need Java installed. You'll need Night Code. It's not easy. In fact, I, we told you that Closure Bridge will help you get started with the four or five things you need. Once they're installed, it's fine and fun, but it takes a bit of angst, a bit of anxiety to get things installed. Okay, and we have, we're going back, I, this is 15 minute video, too long, but we then use Calva in Visio Studio Code. So here's our big finish. Um, go ahead, we'll get rid of code. That's blank if you want to, because we're gonna to go to an actual terminal window. Here is our editor window, the exploring things. You can explore a one unsaved file. I don't know why they grouped it as two for me, um, but they did. Uh, I may have asked it to do that. Um, here's our, our August code and all of the different code. Uh, Calva has code. Condo is there with a cache. You have uh, the, the namespace. That's not really the namespace. These are Oh no, EDN, I've seen a lot. Okay, but here's our code. Um, okay, and here's the core. This is where we've been playing. And right now I'm going to hit Control Enter and touch here. We're touching in this code. And if we hit Control Enter, well, it said it's evaluating that. Um, Alt Enter gave us the code. Here's Bob. Alt enter, and he's a terrific person. So these are being active. The biggest fun thing to see is Control Shift P. There is all of your commands. Ho oh, ho, that's nice. Um, Alt Shift R for evaluating and replacing it. Looking at the that was the Control Enter which I was using recently. Okay, so there's our demo. We'll go to blank screen again. No, we'll probably just go to our splash screen again, which is right there. And we'll say thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.